Hi, I'm Al, and in this edition of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, I'm going to show you how to identify the LS engine in your vehicle in five simple steps. So LS engine swaps are becoming quite popular nowadays. And whether you've purchased a vehicle that already has an LS swap done to it, or you're rummaging around the junkyard trying to find the next LS engine for your project, you need to know which generation of LS engine you're dealing with. So that way when you go on summitracing.com to purchase parts for an upgrade, you know which parts are going to fit your project. And today I'm going to show you in five simple steps how to identify which generation LS1, LS3, or LS4 engine is in your vehicle. So when you're looking at the engine of your potential LS engine swap, first thing you want to do, you want to look at the block. The block is going to tell you which generation LS engine it is. Now if it's an aluminum engine, it's going to either be the Gen 3 or Gen 4. If it's an iron engine, it can either be a Gen 1 or Gen 3 or a Gen 4. So the next thing we have to look at is the date codes. If the date is between 1955 and 1998, it's going to be a Gen 1. If the date is between 1997 and 2007, that's a Gen 3. If it's between 2005 and current, that's going to be a Gen 4. Now you see that there's some overlap in each one of these, so you have to take it to the next step. If the engine mount is four inches forward, more towards the front of the block, that's going to be a Gen 1 block. Now if the engine mount is more mid-block, that's going to be either be the Gen 3 or Gen 4. Now you need to take a little closer inspection of the block. If the knock sensor is in the valley, that's going to be a Gen 3. If the knock sensor is on the side of the block, then it's going to be a Gen 4. So now you should have a better idea of which block you're dealing with. However, to confirm which generation you have, the cam sensor, if it's in the back of the block, it's a Gen 3. And if it's the cam sensor is found in the timing cover, that is a Gen 4 block. So now that I've given you the five easy steps to figure out which generation LS engine that you have, I asked Katie, the parts girl, to get me an engine block and she pulled through. Now Dave and I lifted this engine block up onto this table. It is definitely not aluminum. So we already know it's either a Gen 1, Gen 3, or Gen 4. Now I look at the date code and it reads D246. The way to read a date code is the first letter has to do with the month of the year that the engine was manufactured or cast. So A for January, B for February, C for March, D for April. We know this was made in April. The next two numbers are the day of the month, so it was made April 24th, and the last number is the last digit of the year, so 2006. So we're looking at either a Gen 3 or a Gen 4 block. Now I take a peek into the valley here, and I see a couple knock sensors. So I'm kind of sure this is a Gen 3 block. Then I look at the back of the block here and I can see a cam sensor. I know it's a Gen 3. So Katie came through and got me a Gen 3 block. Now if you have any other questions about LS engines, I'd love to hear them because we're going to do an entire series on LS engine swaps. So please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Make sure you watch some of our other Quick Flick videos. Hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest Quick Flicks videos. And thanks for watching.